Hey folks, Doom here. Another exciting episode of Doomgate and a little bit of a different video today. What we're going to be doing is a little PC work. Actually, not PC work, going to be a little Mac work. Yes, that's right. Uh, we're going to take our hands at building a Hackintosh and got in one of the parts today that I just ordered for this. So this is just a little unboxing for that. The rest of this is coming in, I believe it's a few days. So, what this got here today. And this is a, uh, I'll tell you right now, this is going to be a super budget build. Uh, this is a, um, yeah. It's going to be basically kind of like a hobo map, and as you can see from the processor, uh, this is a Celeron. Uh, this is a Celeron processor, so pretty small, pretty tiny nowadays for for what most people are looking for. Um, but uh, it is a. Um, let's see, it is the G530. This is 2.4 megahertz, two megs of cache. And it's the LGA 1155 uh, slot. Uh, the one reason I got this though is because it's 65 watt, and you'll see why that is in a minute. Um, and I'll show you a couple of the other things I already have ready for this project. Um, this is the case that it is go to, going to go into. This is a mini uh, mini ITX case. It's a small form factor case, and again, just wanted to build it under those constraints. It's just what I wanted to do. So, um, but uh, these have pretty small power supplies, so um, we can't get too much of a powerhouse PC going here or Mac. Sorry, but um, that's what we got. Now I have this. This is an old. DVR um, that I've got that's uh, that I got for it, but this is uh, it's it's actually from an old Mac and it is Mac branded, so that's probably why I'm going to use this. Uh, I, again, I'm not looking for speed, especially with a um, with a DVR, and I'm not going to be using it that much. So if anything, it's going to be used for installing. So again that's quite fine for me um, like you got a highlighter in here um, so anyways that's that's gonna go in it's already in uh, again that's the CPU the motherboard is coming and I've got a video card coming for it now this this um, this processor does have uh, it's the Sandy Bridge so it does have a video processor in it but uh, I believe from what I was told or what I've read the um, Macintosh it at, at that at this level um, will not accept the uh, the onboard pro uh, video processor so uh, you do need a separate one at least that's what I understand so I got a fairly low level video card to go along with it again this is just going to be a system for some uh, some basic surfing and a uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of fun stuff here and there on the web mainly for my kids to use while they're while they're down uh, as far as hard drives go again not looking for a lot of speed or even really size uh, I don't know if I'm going to use this or not but I do have this Mac branded hard drive it's it's just an ultra ATA and it's only an 80 gig so I don't again I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna use this because it's gonna be pretty small but the idea here is to keep this as low as possible for the cost and I already have this so I may just use this to get the system up and running and then switch it later um, but I do plan on using uh, the uh, Maverick system with it um, in fact, I think I may have another one of these, uh, another one of these same drives. So I may 
maybe I'll put two of them in there. Um, maybe one for system and one for whatever. But, you know, like I said, this is not a system that I'm going to be downloading a lot of stuff or doing video work or anything like that. It's purely going to be for web surfing and maybe typing, maybe word processing. That's about it. So that's fine. So anyways, um, folks, more to come on this project and uh, hopefully we'll get this up and running soon. So stay tuned for that and I'll see ya. You've been doomed.